Everyone does dumb stuff in college. People drink too much, people party too hard, and sometimes they travel to North Korea with a tour group, try to steal a propaganda banner from their hotel in Pyongyang, and get sentenced to over a decade of hard labor. College, am I right? Ohio native Otto Warmbier, a 21-year-old undergrad from the University of Virginia, was just sentenced to 15 years hard labor in North Korea. Please, it made the worst mistake of my life. This whole situation raises a lot of questions. Namely, why the hell were you in North Korea? The DPRK is calling his crime a hostile act. It's the same vague label that landed Kenneth Bay in North Korean prison for two years and gave us this bizarre Dennis Rodman interview. If you understand what Kid and Bay did, yeah. do you understand what he did? What did he do? You in tell this me. Country? They haven't Why? released they haven't released any reason. Another Ohio man was detained for six months after intentionally leaving his Bible in a restroom in 2014. Right. Left my Bible there. I guess that explains North Korea's official motto, F Ohio. Warmbier's arrest was good timing for North Korea. Just four days after he was detained, the country announced that they conducted a hydrogen bomb test. Now that the UN is enforcing stricter nuclear sanctions, what better way to shift the attention than by forcing an American to commend the North Korean government? I have been very impressed by the Korean government's humanitarian treatment of severe criminals like myself and of their very fair and square legal procedures. So America, just stop going to North Korea. Despite what bro-y comedy movies tell you, it's no joke. Just leave it to the professionals. We are the guys here doing one thing. This is your mic check.